Hi, I'm the only habitable planet in the known universe. Please save me. I think it's stupid that humans want to colonize Mars. Mars, my own home planet. Like, take care of your own planet before you go to mine. Like, global warming is a thing, and it's happening everywhere. And, like, they can't move to my planet and make it happen on my planet over and over and over again. Come on! Like, pick a better planet, like the moon. Like, you can, it's closer, you can grab resources easier. Or Venus. I like the rain. <laughs> But it's all dried up. It sucks. So just do your part to stop global warming. Dear world, I would like to tell you about climate change. It is making so many animals go extinct every day. So can we stop using cars so much and ride our bikes and walk more and stop hunting animals to extinction? I'm sick of it. I'm sick that humans think they're better than everyone else. We're all people. Well, most of us. Why can't we be treated the same? We need a change, so we're going to start today. Hearing is something we all take for granted. Most of us don't even think about what it would be like not to hear. But me? I have hearing loss, so I know what it's like not to hear. All I ask is if you take a second to listen to the world around you. You're ever just sitting in class? when someone just interrupts the teacher. It's painful, to say the least. You're just trying to pay attention so you don't have any homework that you don't understand, because you get homework every single day. And these people think it's a very funny quirk to just interrupt the teacher when they're trying to explain the entire lesson. I feel bored all the time. I'm constantly surrounded by kids who waste their time and who choose not to learn and put out their best effort or respecting or thinking of others. This does not help. If you enjoy life, think about others. Think about how they may be feeling. Think before you pop off on someone. Think before you insult or shove someone. Be nice so they can enjoy theirs too. So basically, I was sick all week and I hated it. I'm so sick of being at home so I, like, am not gonna ever go home again. Here are some random fun facts to tell everyone. Did you know that there are 293 ways to make change for a dollar? Crazy how math works. Another one is, April 11th, 1954, was recorded the most boring day in the world. Last one is, a skunk smell can be detected by a human a mile away. Those are some crazy facts. Did you know that drinking too much water can kill you? And a shrimp's heart is where it's head should be. Hopefully these facts can be useful to you. Oh, hello. I was just thinking of a quote I was making. Would you like to hear it? Try your best, even if your best isn't the best. Everyone needs help sometimes, and it's your job to make sure you get that help that you need. For example, if you're having a hard time with homework or schoolwork, you need to talk to a teacher and get their help with it, because it'll make your life happier. Boom! Irrational fears. Let's be real. Everyone has them. You, me, your brother. For example, my irrational fears consist of sharks in pools, monsters in the closet, and so on. If you ever feel like you're alone with all your problems, talk to someone. Ask them about their fears. It might just make you laugh. But what are they? It can be something as simple as being afraid of a duck or something not so simple, like being afraid of dying. We all have at least some of them, although we might not realize it, and it's important to recognize them. It's not something to be ashamed of. It's just something that all of us have. Thanks for listening. And make sure to watch out for that dinosaur in your swimming pool. The dress code is unfair. Boys 
never get dress coded. The only thing they even could get dress coded for is hoods, which they get called out on, but it doesn't count as really getting dress coded. Dress codes in general are usually target at girls. Even if it includes boys, boys most likely don't have to think about it. Almost every day, girls have to think about what they're going to wear and how to follow the dress code. Lines, for example. Female lionesses do all the hunting, and the lions get to eat first. The lionesses get the leftovers. The female lions raise the cubs, and guess what the males do? Nothing! There is not much difference from humans in that subject. Yeah, it's gotten better, but women still don't get paid as much as men. And much more women graduate from college every year. So what the heck? For crop tops, ripped jeans, shorts, and tank tops. And I know some people who got dress coded for an inch of their stomach showing. Or for wearing jeans that were ripped just a little too high. Yeah, some things you shouldn't wear, like adult stuff. But... I don't think a crop top fits in that category. I like food. This is an interview about a random person's favorite type of food. What is your opinion on limes? Limes are horrible. They're way too sour and have no taste or texture. This is how I feel about them. What is your take on the popularity of cheeseburgers? Cheeseburgers are confusingly popular with no taste and being too big to fit in your mouth. What is your experience with fish and chips? I refuse to say anything. Oink! 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 Are we alone in the universe? I don't know. I'm just a bean, so I don't know much. For some reason, people always want to cook me, but I am skilled. I have escaped the jaws of death many times. Order up. This is for a warm basket of fries. Before McDonald's. I love being such a high-paid doctor. I hope I can have this job forever. Well, oh my god. Okay, so today in my class, I was sitting down, and someone jumped on the table, and they were jumping around. And then the table broke, and I fell, and they had to go to the nurse. <gasps> Hello, I'm a raccoon, and I love eating trash because trash is yummy. Hi, I'm the purple wildflower, and I'm happiest in the woods, and I have lived here my whole life. The other day, I saw another wildflower get eaten by a deer. Now I'm scared. Oh no, here comes the deer! A while ago, I went to get some stuff at the grocery store, and I was in the produce section, right? Getting plastic like a good goat should. And out of nowhere, these um, these horses came walking towards me. I knew these horses. They were, uh, they asked me where the hay was, and I said there wasn't any hay here. And I told them where they could get it. But they couldn't understand, so we had this long conversation and, about it, and it was just really weird. And these were, hey, you stole my cookie. It took me forever to make that. I'm so hungry, and it's so rude to take something without permission. Abigail, you are so mean and so rude. If you're hungry, you could have just said that. I haven't had lunch or breakfast, so you shouldn't have done that. Hey, so I have a question. Um, do you like Dale for bread and butter pickles? I mean, I prefer bread and butter, but some people hate bread and butter. Bread and butter is so underrated. No offense to bread and butter haters, but come on, dude. Donut. Aww. <gasps> yes. I like to eat big, juicy hot dogs. They are my favorite food. I work at a hot dog shop, and I am a hot dog, but I just can't help myself. A lot of people enjoy pineapple on pizza, and a lot of people don't. This argument has run rampant for many years, but no longer. I am here to settle this argument once and for all. This argument is stupid. Just don't eat each other's pizza, and it doesn't matter in the first place. Um, are you gonna eat that? All orcs do is smash, smash, and they have annoying voices, and oh, and they're repetitive, and repetitive, do I say that? You may not know this about me, but I'm queer, and I'm sick of homophobia. I lost my jacket. Can help me find it? My jacket's really important. I need it. It's a cold winter day, and it's minus 32 outside. I'm about to lose my scarf. Please help me. So, 
My language arts teacher, Miss Wendy, and I have a big problem. For some reason, Miss Wendy thinks that she does not owe me candy. Let me tell you why she does, in fact, owe me candy. It is a very long story. So Miss Wendy did something very, very bad. It was terrible. The most terrible, horrible, no good, very bad thing that she has ever done. Do you want to know what it is? Well, I'm warning you. It's very tragic. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. Are you ready? She owes me candy. Think about walking around in wet socks. I had to do that last year because of outdoor school, which sucked. Don't do it. Bye. My name is June and I'm in sixth grade. Boo. Excuse me. Okay, so this is a filter. And I just want to see which nose it lands on. So, let's go. Excuse me. I got a pig nose. <coughs> Roar. Bye, buddies.